Uh, kia ora, New Zealand. Well, first up, of course, this COVID thing's a real dick. But finally, we can spread our wings, so why not take a trip? Our borders, well, they're boarded up. Tourism taking the biggest hit. So check out what's going on around your Teodora and be the first to get stuck in. New Zealand, yeah, there's probably lots to do and see and stuff. And yeah, you could have a good feed and beer down at your local pub. But it's when you head off for a tiki tour that you'll really have some fun. See, up north we've heard of a hidden wonders, but to go and see it firsthand. The bay full of islands, the locals, the lighthouse thing. Trust me, you'll understand. Our long white cloud, remember, is the envy of every nation. And for once, there'll be no bloody lines. This is the ultimate Kiwi vacation. Auckland, yes, it's a region, so I have to mention it. Give it a break, give it a chance, it's really not that bad. City stuff, both coasts are close, that big old concrete tower. Just keep your Jaffa jokes to yourself or your flat white will be soured. The mighty Waikato has got its river flowing through her veins. It's got Raglan, Waitomo, Otorohonga and the Chiefs winning rugby games. On that peninsula of Coromandel we've heard it all before. Beaches upon beaches and then there's a few more. So just like Maui, be curious, get out there and explore. Do some of that extreme stuff that you've always been too scared to do. Or eat too much at that Indian place and end up with the poos. Bay of Plenty, please excuse the pun, but there is plenty to do. The Mount Whakatane Rotorua, it'll be blimmin' hard to choose. Just remember that between each of these places are small Kiwi towns with welcoming places. The bakeries, small cafes and cluttered souvenir shops. Don't just zoom through, I promise you, they're all well worth the stop. I implore New Zealand, explore New Zealand, get out there and take a look around. A cruise across the country or just pop to your neighbouring town. Gisborne's laid back style, it's way of living seems so free. Out on that east coast they've got a slice of land I truly do envy. Taranaki has that mountain, New Plymouth and a beautifully rugged coast. Over in Hawke's Bay, not that many hawks, but it's far too easy to boast. They're on the opposite bit to Taranaki, they're magpies over on the east coast. Squashed in between is the Manawatu, but she holds her shoulders wide. With snowy mountains of Ruapehu, she's not too hard to find. She's home to Whanganui, Palmi, Taihapi, Tomaranui bulls. Legendary Kiwi towns with heaps to see and do. Tourism of New Zealand, it's world famous out of New Zealand. But behind all of the extreme, the gourmet grub and tourism glam, are locals just like you and me. So let's lend them a hand. Get blown over by Windy Wellington, take a tour through the Wairarapa, jump on that ferry to the other island. It's okay, it's just the north sexier brother. The South Island, the beating heart, in a winter she's blooming cold. It's got the Southern Alps and plenty of snow, but I'm sure you've already been told. They've got funny sounding R's and drive utes for cars, and they'll tell you I've left the best island. Well, I've left that island till last. Rugged peaks and mountains and towns with water fountains. Marlborough, well, they're busy turning that water into wine. Nelson has more hidden gems than any one man could find. Tasman is the pretty boy of the rugged west coast. Well, it's actually more to like the northeast a bit, but that's geographical chat, so don't be too engrossed. It is the marvellous Motueka and that welcoming farewell spit, which may now be known as just farewell due to new rules around COVID. Below Tasman is the tough one. She's all about sand and grit. It's the wild west coast where if you want to go bush, this is the place to bloody commit. Rugged, hearty New Zealand on display at its finest. The land is steeped in history thanks to tough old hearty miners. Canterbury, the people, it's reason alone to visit. Everything from Christchurch out to the Mackenzie country, Kaikoura, Hanma Springs and Timaru. All exceptionally exquisite. New Zealand, well we love this place. We love this place to bits. Kiwi land, Aotearoa and she's a bloody number one hit. Otago, days gone by, was full of gold. Now eccentric flatties dismiss the cold. Queenstown, Wanaka, Mauraki, Balclutha. An Otago destination, it will be hard to choose her. Sprinkled through our land, you'll find these quiet little spots. Pull over, buy a steak and cheese and check out the local shops. Southland, well, it's not up north. She's another world on her own. On a hike looking for signal, well, you can put away your phone. Breathe it in New Zealand, that southern air New Zealand, what Shadbolt proudly calls his home. Fiordland, Invercargill Bluff, that's it. No, we've not nearly had enough. Unlike Tasmania to Aussie, we love our little island mate. It's Stewart Island, not reserved just for Stuarts. You see, that's just the island's name. Want to go back a thousand years to see what our paradise truly looked like? Trust me, the dawn chorus of birdsong is truly worth the hike. 
So I implore New Zealand, explore New Zealand. Get out there and take a look around. A cruise across the country or just pop to your neighbouring town. Cafes, kai, outdoor hikes, the slopes, the friendly tours. Anywhere you visit this year will be for a bloody great cause.